Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the array constant inside the VillaCup in Excel and the Google Sheets to look for an entire record based on the lookup value. Before we proceed, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Let's proceed. We have this HR records and in here we have this drop down list it contains the employee ID that we want to use as the lookup value. Now there are a couple of ways in which you can actually return an entire records. You can combine the match function inside the VLOOKUP function to achieve the same result. Now let's see how to use the combination of the match and the VLOOKUP functions. Now come to cell B2, equal sign, VLOOKUP value, click on A2, fuck it, make it absolute comma. The table array is this entire table. Now this data is formatted as an Excel table. Okay, so we can actually grab the entire records, comma, and the column index number is going to be where we train the match. The match requires the lookup value, so I click on this B1, comma. The lookup array is the entire headers, comma, and we want the insert match plus the match, comma. And for the range lookup of the fourth argument, and I select the false, close, and control, enter. Control C, and let's select the entire range, and I paste. So we have achieved you know, this result. Now we can do the same thing. In Google Sheets. Now I'm going to switch to Google Sheets. We have the same records. Okay, let's do the same thing. Equal sign VLOOKUP. Now over here we have the search key, which is the same thing as the local value. So I click on this A1, A2 rather, F4 key, comma, and the range just the same as table array. Select the entire table, excluding the headers, country sheet, right and down arrow key, F4 key to make it absolute comma, and the index is where I'm going to train the match function and let me just scroll up so for the match i need to provide the search key and it's going to be b1 comma and the range is going to be the entire errors control shift right arrow key f4 key to make it absolute comma and then we want to use the exact match close and then we are back to the vehicle comma and we want exact match also close the vehicle enter okay and copy this and select the entire range and I paste. Now we achieve the same result. So if I choose another employee ID, okay, everything updates automatically. Now this is one of the method. Let's see the usage of the array constant inside the vehicle. Now let's come back to Excel, get rid of this. Now let's do that. Equal sign vehicle, lookup value remain the same, F for key comma the table table one comma now for the column index number i'm going to train the array constant between 2 to 11 which is for the last name all through to net salary then i train the curly bracket two then up to 11. okay and i close the curly bracket comma and for the range lookup we want the exact match and then close our vehicle. Now, watch what happens when I deploy control enter. Now, I'm using Office 365, okay? Control enter base to the result skill absolutely cool. Now, when I change this to another MID, everything updates. Now, let's do the same thing in Google Sheets. Let's come over here, get rid of this. Okay, equal sign vehicle. The same local value, search key, F for key, make it absolute comma, and the range still remain the same. Control shift right down arrow key, and I press F for key to make it absolute comma. Now the index is where I'm going to train the array constant. Open curly bracket 2 to 11. Okay, and I close the curly bracket, which is the array constant, and comma. So, the next I'm going to do is just go in the zero and I close the field cup. Now, let's just go through it again. Search key, this is the okay, this is our range, and all of this forms our index, and then the zero form our is sorted. Enter now. When I deploy enter, see what happens. It 
only gave me a single value for the last name okay now it didn't spill now if i want that to spill to the right what i'm going to do is to combine that with the array formula function in the google sheets so just come here i'm going to throw in the array formula open parenthesis and i just close the parenthesis now when i do enter it now the chirp so in google sheets we are required to use the array constant the array formula rather wrap with the vehicle value inside to get the exact result that we want but in excel of 365 we don't need that all we need to do is to just Control control enter so i believe you've learned how to use the array constant in excel and google sheet to achieve a good result if you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you and bye for now cheers